everyone? It's me, Katie Beth again. And in honor of The Mandalorian premiering next week, I found this Baby Yoda Chia Pet at Target, and today we're going to unbox and review him. So it does say it takes one to two weeks for full growth, so I am opening this before today, just so I can have a week or two to see how he does. So we can do a full review on this guy. Let's go ahead and open them up and get this review started. Okay, so it's been about two and a half weeks, not quite three weeks yet. And this is how he looks. It's really crazy. I didn't think this back portion was going to be growing too much because it was kind of really spotty. But if you look, it really attached and grew on there pretty well. 
I can see some lighter green spots and I don't know if those are newer leaves or older leaves. I've never had a Chia Pet before, so I don't know how long this is going to last, if it's going to die or just keep growing out. I do still have about two thirds of a bag of seeds left, so if it does die, I can redo it and do it again. Not all of them bloomed. Like these ones in the front just look kind of moldy looking and they never quite gestated. Is that the word? They never quite grew. It is blocking his face and I, I don't know if I cut it, if they'll die or if they'll keep growing, but because it's blocking his face, I think I'm just gonna give it a trim and see how it goes. I'll do a little update on Instagram next week to show you how it ends up looking after I trimmed him a little. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give these a little trim. Oh, I think I might have trimmed them too much. So now it just looks like some weird, some weird stubs in front of him, but it doesn't block his cute little face. I did just water him, so that's why half of his face looks wet and half doesn't. He is kind of growing some, I guess kind of mold, some like white stuff on his face. And I don't know if that's because it fills up with water or if that's just how this type of stone dries out. If I scratch at it with the scissors, it kind of takes it off. Let's see. I guess I can just wipe it off so he doesn't have some gross gunk on his face. So this is what the Mandalorian Baby Yoda, the child, ends up looking like after about two weeks, a little more than two weeks. Pretty cool. As I mentioned, this is my first Chia pet I've ever had. It was a lot less eventful than I thought it would be. It's kind of exciting to see him grow every day, but also kind of not. He did cost $20, so, well, it was $19.99, there are some better things I could think of to do with $20, but it was a fun childhood milestone to finally complete. And I do love Baby Yoda and he is super cute, so I am kind of excited that I actually did end up getting him. This actually grew a lot better than I thought it would. And if you were wondering, I did grow him indoors above our sink in the window by the kitchen. We were going to put it outside, but my roommate has a new love of baby lizards and he was afraid the baby lizards would eat the chia seeds. I'm not sure if that's how lizards work, but but that's how we ended up where we are. Well, thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like. And if you're not subscribed already, think about maybe hitting that little bell. It would be a great help to me, but it's also a great help if you're still here watching. So thank you everyone for joining me here today. And I'll see you on Sunday as we explore another one of California's first restaurants. This Sunday, actually, we're doing a little special on Juan Pollo. It's more of a little thing if you're in Southern California. I actually learned a lot about the company, and I'll be sharing that with you Sunday afternoon. Make sure to watch Mandalorian next weekend when it comes out so we can all talk about it later. And have a great weekend. Thanks.